All right, uh, what we're going to talk about now is a recovery tank and a recovery machine. Uh, first thing I want to point out is all approved tanks have a DOT number, okay? That's from the Department of Transportation that actually will allow this jug to be able to go with you into your service van. That has to be on there, okay? What else you're going to see right down below it here is that the tank has to be checked and inspected every five years, okay? That's required. Um, some other numbers you're going to see on here, you're going to see a TW, a tier weight that says 24 pounds. That is what the jug weighs. This is a 50-pound cylinder. We're allowed 80%. So we can put in 40 pounds, and it weighs 24 pounds empty. So 64 pounds is the absolute max that we can go. Okay. And for our hydrostatic test, water column is... 47.7, okay? That's going to be on every approved jug. Now, uh, some of the key components here, and one thing I want to point out is we write on our jugs when we use them what type of refrigerant we're actually putting into them. Uh, this is an R410A tank. Uh, the students should know from that, do not put anything other than 410A. Uh, if we would put in 10 pounds of R410A and then 8 or 9 pounds of R22, that's not a good jug. It's a bad jug. Uh, we can't really separate the refrigerants once we, you know, um, cross-contaminate the refrigerants. Um, liquid side, okay, as you can see on the label, and this is the vapor side, okay? Um, this right here is a safety that will prevent you from overfilling the jug. That will hook to your recovery tank that we're going to, or our recovery machine that we're going to show you now.